So here we have, we have 50 bags, just regular grocery bags. Um, no, we don't have 50, we have 55, my bad. We have 55 bags, totaling 110 layers, because the bag is made up of two layers, front and back. Because technically it's one, but whatever. So we have 110 layers, I'm going to be using 12 layers this 1050 denier ballistic nylon it does have a urethane coating i literally couldn't get it off and i couldn't find any without it so we're just stuck with it so we're gonna have 12 layers of these and the U the hdpe is going to be in between every other layer in between every layer so we have 12 layers that means we're gonna need 11 layers in between and 11 times 10 which is we're doing 10 in between each layer so that's 110 so here we have 55 bags times 2 110 layers I have these as a guide, six by six. I wanna give it a little bit extra room just so when I iron them, if they shrink, it'll still match up to a five by five.
You have it on safe. I know. There's a freaking bee on here. It's kind of cool. Dang, that's very hot. I'm gonna shoot the little guy first. Did I get it? I think so. That's the back rip. That's where we at, right there. Can't tell if the nest in there or not. I think it was that. So here we have both plates. We have the nylon and HTBE laminated together. And then here we have all the HTBE in the front and then the nylon behind it. Which actually I think I think this worked better. But they both basically perform exactly the same for the most part. I only shot this with um, regular ball ammo. It's going like an average of 3,050 to 60 feet per second. And it went through both of these. But I did have my homemade Hyperline 3A backer behind both of them. And it did stop the rounds. I think this one went through at the bottom, but the bottom was kind of messed up already. So one over here stopped, I think. And this one definitely stopped. And this is obviously without it. So. going on here went through so yeah 3a backer if 3a backer is accompanying these it will stop oh since when did freaking masking tape become this freaking sticky so great Literally, what the hell? So I hit here, obviously a hit there. Both pretty close to the edge, honestly.
badly cracked. They still stay like in place relatively well with this construction adhesive. I mean, you're looking at like probably like an inch to an inch and a quarter. Space that can no longer be used per shot. So, we can have a shot at like one and four, and those would be like pretty good hits still. Another down here, and then maybe one in the middle, but probably not. But I think having it attached to this also helped a lot. So, like the construction adhesive is doing most of the work. So the main takeaway from this, I would say is obviously if you're going to do lamination, actually be able to do it. <laughs> In my case, I couldn't really. My iron didn't get hot enough and my mom said I couldn't use the oven, so which makes sense, literally melting plastic. And I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't have time to get anything else before I, I had to get this out. So maybe we'll revisit this or something or just provide information for someone else to try this out. Key takeaways, actually be able to laminate whatever you're, you're planning on using. Stuff is kind of hard to melt, honestly. I had it on the highest temperature Freaking, and it still did nothing. The iron, I don't even know. Um, you're gonna need two tiles instead of one, and this, since they both performed essentially the same, it doesn't really matter with which one you go with. But if you're gonna do laminating, obviously, you have to go with this. So probably doing it this way and then having some solid um, HDPE in the front so it can adhere to the tiles better and then maybe some in the back also. Just think if you do that, this is I mean, like, like an eighth of an inch or something. Roughly 0.10. So 0.20 for the front and back, and then this is like 0.35, that's half an inch. And then your two tiles, you're looking at 80, 130. Yeah, so roughly an inch and a quarter, especially if you can laminate it, you're gonna get this a lot thinner than I could. And the freaking Loctite PL3 constriction adhesive works pretty well, honestly. a little bit more than I was expecting but yeah so 
better lamination, two tiles instead of one. Some solid HEP in the front and back maybe. Roughly inch and a quarter. And you could probably stop green tip. I mean 55, probably. So maybe I'll try this again. But yeah, hopefully this gave you guys some information. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.